Welcome to KS Max Tuition, Continuation of Congress Number. <coughs> Next question, the square root of 3 minus 4i, choice plus or minus 2 minus i, plus or minus 2 plus i, plus or minus root 3 minus 2i, plus or minus root 3 plus 2i. Here we have to determine the square root of 3 minus 4i. See, in theory classes, we have studied about this square root of a complex number. But, for in, the, in this sentence class, we can, there is a simple method for calculating square root of any complex number. Let x plus i y equal to square root of a plus i b. Here we have to find out the square root of a plus i b. Then, x is equal to square root of root of a square plus b square plus a divided by 2. The square root of the square root of root of a square plus b square plus a by 2 and y equal to square root of root of a square plus b square minus a divided by 2. This is x and this is y. Then square root of a plus i b equal to root of a square root of a square plus b square plus a by 2 and y equal to root of root of a square plus b square minus a by 2. Here we have to find out the square root of 3 minus 4i that is x plus i y equal to square root of 3 minus 4i. So x is equal to square root of a square root of a square 3 square plus b square 4 square minus 4 square means plus 4 square plus a plus 3 divided by 2. Okay. Similarly, y equal to root of root of 3 square plus 4 square minus a minus a means minus 3 minus 3 divided by 2. Here a equal to 3 and b here a equal to 3 and b equal to minus 4. Minus 3 square minus 4 square means plus 4 square itself. Here also 3 square plus 3, 4 square minus 3. 3 square means 9. 4 square equals 16. 16 plus 9 equal to 25. That is root to 25 equal to 5. 5 plus 3 by 2. 3 square means 9. 4 square 16. 16 plus 9, 25. Root of 25 equal to 5. 5 plus 3 by 2. That is 6. And y equal to square root of 25 means 5. 5 minus 3 divided by 2. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 by 2 equal to 4. Root of 4 equal to plus or minus 2. And y equal to 5 minus 3, 2 by 2 equal to root of plus or minus 1. Okay. If the imaginary part of the term is negative, imaginary part of the term is negative, then x and y possess different sign. That means square root of 3 plus 3 minus 4i equal to if x is positive and y is negative, that is 2 minus i. Or we can write x is negative, y is positive, 1, 2 plus i. Okay. Here, x, if the imaginary part of the term is negative, then x and y possess different sign. If x is positive, y is negative. x is negative, y is positive. If it is positive, then x and y possess same sign. That is, x is positive, y is positive. x is negative, y is negative. So therefore, the option of this question is A. Option equal to A. That is, our answer equal to 2 minus i. Minus 2 plus i means we can write plus or minus 2 minus i. Plus 2 minus i. Minus 2 plus i. Option A. Okay. Yes. Yes. Next seventh question. X 
Yes, right. Sign the first one. If x is equal to a plus b. If x equal to a plus i b. A b or b? B. No, a plus b. And y equal to? A omega plus b omega square. A omega plus b omega square. Is that equal to? Is that equal to? A omega square plus b omega. B omega. Then x y is that is equal to dash. Then x y is that equal to dash. Choice. First one, a plus b the whole cube. A plus b the whole cube. Second choice. A cube plus b cube. A cube plus b cube. Third choice. A cube minus b cube. A cube minus b cube. Fourth choice. A plus b the whole cube. A plus b the whole cube. Minus 3ab into a plus b. Minus 3ab into a plus b. The fourth choice b equal to a plus b the whole cube. Minus 3ab into a plus b. Yes. If x is equal to a plus b and y equal to a omega plus b omega square and is a is equal to a omega square plus b omega. Here omega is a cube root of unity then we know that the value of omega cube equal to 1 and omega, omega raised to 4 equal to omega and omega raised to pi equal to omega square. If omega is a cube root of unity then omega cube equal to 1. Omega raised to 4 equal to omega. Omega raised to pi equal to omega square. Similarly, omega raised to 6 equal to omega 1. <coughs> given x is equal to, given x equal to a plus b. y equal to a omega plus b omega square. And this is equal to a omega square plus b omega. Okay. Then x, y is equal to a plus b into a omega plus b omega square into a omega square plus b omega. Okay. Multiply this term. That is a plus b into a omega into a omega square means a square omega cube. a omega into b omega is equal to a b omega square. b omega square into a equal to a b omega is to 4 and b into b b square omega cube. Okay. Here omega cube is equal to 1. That is a plus b into a square omega cube equal to 1. Plus we can take this from from this we can write omega raised to 4 equal to omega. Omega raised to 4 equal to omega. That is a b omega square plus a b omega plus b square into omega cube equal to 1. Okay. That is a plus b into a square plus a b out of omega plus omega square plus b square. We know that if omega is a cube root of unity, then omega plus omega square is equal to 1. Sorry. Omega plus omega square is equal to minus 1. Or 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. If omega is a cube root of unity, 1 plus omega plus omega square equal to 0 or omega plus omega square equal to minus 1 or omega cube equal to 1 or omega raised to 4 equal to omega or omega raised to 5 equal to omega square. Okay. Here we can take IB as common term then omega plus omega square. Omega plus omega square equal to minus 1. So we can write a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Okay. Omega plus omega square equal to minus 1. A square minus AB plus B square. By algebraic identity, we know that A plus B into A square minus AB plus B square equal to A cube plus B cube. A cube plus B cube. Option B. Okay. Yes, but it is
next to us H. If n is any integer. If n is any integer. If n is any integer. Then i raised to n is dash. Then i raised to n equal to dash. Choice A. I. I. B. 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1. C. I minus I. I minus I. D. 1. 1. Comma minus 1. Minus comma 1. I. Comma, comma I. minus I. Minus I. Yes. If n is an integer, then I raised n is equal to dash. Then if n is equal to 1, we can write I raised n is equal to I. If n equal to 2, then I square is equal to minus 1. If n equal to 3, I cube equal to minus I. If n equal to 4, I raised to 4 equal to plus 1. If n equal to 5, I raised to 5 equal to I. If n I raised to n, then put n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Okay. I raised to 1, I raised to 1 equal to I. Put n equal to I square minus 1. Put n equal to 3, I cube minus I. Put n equal to 4, I raised to 4 equal to plus 1. Put n equal to 5, I raised to 5 means I raised to 4 into I. That is I raised to 4 equal to 1, 1 into I equal to A. Now see, repeating. I raised to 6, I raised 6 equal to I raised to 4 into I square. I raised to 4 equal to 1. 1 into I square minus 1 equal to minus 1. See. And if n equal to 7, I raised to 7 equal to I raised to 4 into I cube. I raised to 4 equal to 1, I cube equal to minus I equal to minus I. Okay. I raised to H. I raised to 4 into I raised to 4 equal to 1 into 1 equal to 1. For whatever may be the values of n, then we can say that if n is an integer, the value of I raised n is equal to I minus 1 minus I 1. Okay. So it contains only 4 values. So our 1 minus 1 I minus I. 1 minus 1 I minus I. Again, the values are repeating. So we can say our option is D. The value of the value of one by two plus omega one by two plus omega plus plus one by one plus two omega one plus two omega plus one 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 by one plus omega one plus omega as of the this second the minus this uh, no uh, the third one third one is minus yes mm. equal to dash dash mm. what will the is a a one mod b minus one minus one c zero c zero d minus two minus two the value of one by two plus omega then plus 1 by 1 plus 2 omega and minus 1 by 1 plus omega equal to dash. If omega is a cube root of unity, then 1 plus omega plus omega square equals 0 or omega plus omega square equal to minus 1, omega raised to 5 equal to omega square, omega raised to 4 equal to omega, omega cube equal to 1. Similarly, 1 plus omega is also equal to 1 plus omega equal to minus omega square. Okay. Yes. Take that again. 1 by 2 plus omega plus 1 by 1 plus 2 omega minus 1 by 1 plus omega. Take it Celsius. 2 plus omega into 1 plus 2 omega into 1 plus omega upon 1 plus 2 omega into 1 plus omega plus 2 plus omega into 1 plus omega minus 
2 plus omega into 1 plus 2 omega. Okay, take this place here. 1 plus 2 omega into 1 plus omega, 2 plus omega into 1 plus omega, and 2 plus omega into 1 plus 2 omega. Okay, expand this thing. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into omega, omega. 2 omega into 1, 2 omega. 2 omega into omega, 2 omega square. Again, 2, 2 omega plus omega plus omega square. Again, minus 2, minus 4 omega, minus omega, minus 2 omega square divided by denominator. 2 plus omega, 1 plus 2 omega and 1 plus omega. Okay. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 minus 2, 1. The numerator constant then is 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2, 3. 3 minus 2 equal to 1. Omega plus omega, 2 omega, 3 omega, 5 omega, 6 omega, and again 2 omega, omega. You can add 2 omega plus omega, 3 omega, plus 2 omega, 5 omega, plus omega, 6 omega, minus 4 omega, 2 omega, minus omega, plus omega. Okay. Again, 2 omega square plus omega square, 3 omega square, minus 2 omega square equal to omega square, 1 plus omega plus omega square. 2 omega square, 2 omega square cancel. Okay. That is the remaining term, only omega square. Divided by 1 plus omega plus omega square divided by the denominator. 2 plus omega into 1 plus 2 omega into 1 plus omega. The value of 1 plus omega plus omega square equals 0. 0 by this denominator equal to 0. So, answer 0. Our option C. Next question. Yes. The value of the value of I raised to five hundred and ninety two. I raised to five hundred and ninety two. Plus I raised to five ninety. Five ninety. Plus I raised to five eighty eight. Plus I raised to five eighty eight. Plus I raised to 586. I raised to 586. Plus I raised to 584. 584. Divided by. Divided by. I raised to 582. 582. Plus I raised to 580. Oh, plus. Plus I raised to 578. Oh. Plus I raised to 576. Plus. What's this there? Plus I raised to 574. I raised to 574. Plus 1. Plus 1. Plus 1 equal to dash. 
see kinase to 592 means this is 592 90 88 86 84 there is the difference between the numbers is 2 92 90 88 86 84 there also 82 80 78 76 74 the difference to the numbers is 2 on i raised to 592 means i square all raised to 296 okay that is i square means minus 1 minus 1 all raised to 296 the power is an even number, so this answer is equal to plus 1. Okay. Then, I raised to pi 90 means I square all raised to 295 equal to minus 1 all raised to 295 equal to minus 1 because power is an order. This is power even, order, even, order, even, order, even, order, even, order, like this it will go. So this answer becomes us. If the power is an even, answer is equal to plus 1. Power is an order minus one. This is an even plus one. This is an order minus one. This is an even plus one. Divide by this is an order minus one. This is an even plus one. This is order minus one. This is even plus one. This is order minus one plus one. Okay. My one minus one zero. One minus one zero. The numerator is minus one. One minus one zero. One minus one zero. One. Then minus one plus one zero. Minus 1 plus 1 0 by minus 1 plus 1. 1 by minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. We can say that this answer equal to 0. So option A. Option A. I raised to pi 92, pi 90, 88, 86, 84, 82, 80, 78, 76, 74. There is a sequence of number difference is 2, 92, 90, 88, 86, 0, 74. This is I raised to pi 92 means I square all raised to 296. That is minus 1 all raised to 296 means plus 1. This number is an even, so answer is plus 1. I raised to pi 90 means I square all raised to 295. Minus 1 all raised to 295 is minus 1. But this number is even plus 1. This number is an odd one minus 1. This number is also even number for plus 1. This is an odd number minus 1. That is this is even number plus 1. This is odd number minus 1. Even plus 1. Odd minus 1. Even plus 1. Odd minus 1. Okay. We can cancel this number. This number also plus 1. Cancel this, this, minus 1. 1 by minus 1 means minus 1. Plus 1 equal to 0. Option A. Okay. Yes. Continuation in next video. Thank you.